Does testosterone replacement therapy increase blood pressure? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at some of the research behind blood pressure and testosterone replacement therapy. And I'm also going to give you some of my clinical experience on using testosterone replacement therapy and its effect on blood pressure. If you have some specific questions about this, please drop it in the comment section and we'll be happy to try to address those for you. If you're liking this information that I'm providing this channel and you want to give a financial contribution, click on the link in the description and it'll take you to a page where you can make a donation. If you do do that, I would greatly appreciate it. If you don't, that's fine too. All right, now let's look at how testosterone replacement therapy affects blood pressure. Does testosterone replacement therapy increase blood pressure? Well, in my clinical experience and in doing some extra research for this video, uh, I think the answer is very unlikely that testosterone replacement therapy increases blood pressure. In fact, it's more likely that it actually decreases blood pressure, it does the opposite. So we're gonna look at some of the research studies that support this. And of course, you know, have my clinical experience where I've not seen a case where testosterone clearly increases blood pressure. And I've treated many, many patients uh, for low testosterone. There are a few exceptions to this though, and we want to take a close look at those to make sure you're not uh, ignoring uh, a high blood pressure reading. All right, so let's look at some of these studies first, and then we'll look at some of the exceptions certain things to keep in mind with testosterone replacement therapy and the potential theoretic theoretical potential for increasing blood pressure. Okay, so I'll put links to all the studies that I'm referencing in the description in case you need those and want to read further on this. So the first study was actually an observational study, and they followed men uh, with testosterone deficiency. That's how they described it as testosterone deficiency over five years, and they were taking testosterone therapy for their hypogonadism or testosterone deficiency. And this study, uh, it also looks at other parameters. If you're curious about like blood sugar and cholesterol and things like that, you might want to take a look at this. And they found that uh, there was a sustained uh, reduction in the systolic and diastolic blood pressure, gradual uh, reduction over time. In both of those, uh, the systolic, the, they just kind of averaged it and it started at, for all of them, about 153 and went down to 137. So it was technically hypertensive and then went into the normal range, which is still a little bit high, but not as bad. And same thing with the diastolic, it gradually came down over time. So that seems positive and, and like, obviously, it's not increasing blood pressure. If anything, you know, maybe uh, something else changed in their lifestyle habits, but clearly the testosterone didn't have a negative uh, effect on the blood pressure that was observed in, in this study. Now, it was an observational study. It's not randomized, placebo-controlled, or anything like that. Um, but they did notice that after the sustained reduction over the two years, it's, it maintained at that lower level, uh, and they continued to follow them for three more years. So it was a total of five years. So another study looked at the arterial stiffness to assess this question. The more stiff, the higher the blood pressure. So it was a small study, but they did find that arterial stiffness improved uh, with normalization of uh, the deficient testosterone levels. And then a final small study looked at the effect of testosterone on endothelial function, which is similar to looking at the arterial stiffness. It was a different study though. And they assessed the endothelium in men before treatment after and then three months after and then longer follow-up and in this small study there was 23 males and they found that uh, testosterone either did not affect the endothelial function or actually improved it slightly they didn't do as long a follow-up as the first study where they looked at it for over five years just looking at blood pressure but they did do it over three months and then i think another three or four months after that so looking at this information in and of itself you know it does look like there's really not a negative effect of testosterone. Um, add that with my clinical experience. I, I don't typically see uh, changes in blood pressure in a negative way when someone starts testosterone replacement therapy. However, the actuality of this is not 100% uh, known at this point, so I would keep that, take this with uh, a little grain of salt and make sure, you know, if you do have a blood pressure issue, that you're checking it regularly after starting testosterone replacement therapy to make sure it's not getting worse. So there are theoretically some things that can cause blood pressure to go up, and if these are not being followed properly or being addressed, 
then potentially you will get a problem with higher blood pressure. So testosterone can increase blood pressure through increasing the amount of red blood cells that are produced. So this is known as uh, polycythemia, secondary polycythemia to testosterone replacement therapy, and it causes the red blood cell quantities to go up and the concentration overall in the blood to increase in terms of the number of red blood cells. That overall thickens the blood, causing potentially more volume in the overall system, which causes the pressure in that uh, contained system to be more because there's more volume. So, so that's a theoretical concern. As far as like actual studies, it doesn't appear to be causing that. And as far as my clinical experience, I don't see that, but I do monitor these things closely in my patients and make sure if that's happening, then we have them take care of it through a blood donation. The other possibility is that testosterone can increase estrogen, and it does. It will, uh, to some extent, increase estrogen regardless. Um, but if it gets too high, this can be a problem because estrogen actually uh, can cause our bodies to retain sodium. And we all know that sodium can increase blood pressure. As your body retains more sodium, it also retains more fluid. So similar to increasing the volume with the red blood cell increase in that, uh, you know, if this is the artery, you know, you have more red blood cells, all of a sudden they're pushing more on this artery. Same thing with the sodium and the water that follows that sodium. You have more pressure in that artery and all of a sudden there's uh, more volume in that and all of a sudden there's more pressure. So these are two theoretical concerns which are easily adjusted for through uh, close monitoring and, and taking appropriate action. All right, so that should help answer the question, does testosterone replacement therapy increase blood pressure? If you have a specific question about anything related to testosterone blood pressure type things, drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video if it seems like there's enough interest on that topic. Thanks for watching. If you like the video and wanna see more videos like it, click on the subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.